You want to know what's crazy? It's about us winning at Tennessee and it's about our future at Tennessee. The college coaching profession, that's crazy. It'll make Pete Carroll look horrible. It's not only crazy, it's kind of disgusting. Uh, my opinion is that uh, Mr. Kiffin and his daddy defecated on the University of Tennessee. The fact that you can just pledge your allegiance to an entire campus, to the kids, to the faculty, to the fans. Uh, college sports is a business. In one fell in swoop, you can just say, I'm out of here, baby. I'm taking a better job. Oh, it's my dream job. I'm out. That makes everything okay. I put, I put Lane Kiffin's head on a, <laughs> on a snake. What do you think? I think that's appropriate. Kids that were going to UT are now taking their UT hats off and say, sayonara, UT. We're not going to be balls. Who wants to be orange? We'll be something else. We're going to Gatorland. We're going to Bama land. It doesn't matter, but we're not going to UT. I'm a snake. He's a snake. Lane Kiffin is the latest coach to take the money and run. He's a little worm, that's what I think. I guess you can't blame him. They're just padding their pockets. If the Smoky Mountains hit him in the ass on the way out. The rules allow coaches to do this. They're basically raping universities. They're holding universities hostage. I can't believe he did that. I mean, it's just been there a year. He got one good recruiting class in, and now he's gone. Bobby Petrino and Lane Kiffin and Pete Carroll, they're mercenaries with clipboards and wearing sneakers and roaming sidelines. And they tell you that they have dedication and they have passion and they have devotion to a certain school. But you know what? They only have devotion to the Benjamins, devotion to the dollars, because they pick up and leave in the middle of the night like thieves. He's slithering from Knoxville <laughs> over to Trojan land, right? He's oh, slithering yeah. his way over for the money. Yeah, oh yeah. They're kind of like John's paying off a whore. Leave the 20 bucks on the nightstand. That would be a lot easier for me to fathom. That'd be easier to stomach. You better take it from me. That boy is like a disease. I think coaches should be made to sit out a year. You know what? What's good for the kids should be good for the coach. If you're going to leave, sure, you can leave, but you got to sit out a year, too. Let's see your options then, Coach O. Once again, the word I use is defecated. For more exciting stories and some interesting artwork, go to my website, andycordan.com. Tennessee, and every decision that I make on our team or every time that I talk to you guys and do something is about us winning at Tennessee and is about our future at Tennessee because that's how we're going to be judged.